Hey, what's up solar family? It's James here. How are you? Hopefully you're doing amazing. And in this video, I want to go over the three most common objections that you're going to get out in the field. Uh, but keep in mind that I'm not going to go over how to answer those objections. I'm just going to go over the objections, but make sure you watch my other videos uh, where I actually answer each of these objections. But before I dive into it, make sure you book your free solar strategy call, especially if you want to get into solar or maybe you want to learn how to sell solar virtually or maybe you're a roofing or HVAC contractor and you want to add solar in your book of business, make sure you book your solar strategy call. It's going to be a pop-up right above this video. So let me go ahead and dive right into it. All right, the first most common objection you're going to get out in the field is I'm not interested. And for the most part, this objection is going to come up when you're trying to pique the curiosity. And again, there is a clear and concise way in how to handle objections and make sure you watch my other videos on how to do so. But this objection will come up when you're trying to pique curiosity, right? That's why your pitch has to be clear and concise where it's just piquing curiosity rather than solar vomiting in a homeowner, right? The second most common objection you're going to get as a solar sales rep is I don't have money. As you already know, there's no upfront cost if the homeowner qualifies, but as a consumer, that's not what they're thinking, right? Because have you ever bought a product uh, where you never had to pull out a credit card, right? For the most part, you probably never have. And that's the uh, thought process of the homeowner when you're pitching them or piquing that curiosity about solar. So again, there is a clear and concise method how to answer this objection as well uh, because you don't want to just ramble on and on and on. And finally, the third most common objection you're going to get is let me think about it. So this objection is normally comes up at the end when you ask for the sale, right? And there is a way to answer this objection as well because for the most part, the majority of homeowners are going to tell you, you know what, this sounds great, but let me think about it. Uh, you know, let me talk to my wife over it. Let, let us sleep on it. And again, there is a clear and concise way to answer all these objections. And the way to really master these objections is to record yourself, role play with your colleagues and even in your car, right? You can, you can ask yourself the objection and answer it and record yourself and see how you sound. So hopefully that helps you out a bit. And again, if you guys want to learn how to actually answer these objections, search my videos. Uh, I've answered these objections as well in my other videos. But before you go, make sure you book your solar strategy call. It's gonna be a pop-up right above this video, especially if you're looking to getting into solar, or maybe you wanna sell solar virtually online in pajamas, or maybe you're also an HVAC or a roofing contractor that wants to add solar in your book of business. Make sure you book your call. It's going to be a pop-up right above this video. Other than that, have an amazing day. Goodbye for now. Peace.